Great! Welcome back! So in this video, we're going to talk about a little bit more complex cash flow statement. So, just like in the last one, we're going to start with our net income, 1000 and we're going to make some additions to it. Depreciation, I've already talked about in the simple uh, cash flow statement in the previous video. So we're going to add $10 for depreciation. I guess I didn't have stuff that it depreciated much. Decreases in accounts receivable. In other words, I had accounts receivables. I invoiced people, and they paid those invoices. So that adds $100. That's why it's a decrease in accounts receivable, because the money's been paid. Increase in accrued expenses. In other words, I've been invoiced, but I haven't paid that yet. Since I haven't paid it yet, that's $200. And then a decrease in inventory. I've sold $100 worth in goods, so my inventory has decreased. Okay? These are all my additions. Then looking at the subtractions, a decrease in accounts payable. In other words, I've paid my vendors, I've paid my suppliers just $10. I guess I'm a little slow this month. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to add 10 plus 100 plus 200 plus 100, and I'm going to subtract 10. And that gives me a total of $400 for my total adjustments. I take the $400 in total adjustments, I add to my net income, and that gives you a total of $1,400. Now normally you do this all in like one big column, but again, because of the, so you guys can see that. In fact, it doesn't even look like you can see that, so we're just going to move that over a little bit. But again, it's a little hard to see it all in one column, so therefore we, um, you know, kind of put them side by side on the board. So then you got to take your cash flows from investing activities, a new category. So I've purchased $50 worth of equipment and maybe something for the building. And I take that $50 and all that is, is net cash provided by investing activity. So subtract 50 again. Same setup as last time. Purple stuff is a subtraction, blue stuff is an addition. Cash flows from financing activities. I'm getting loans. So let's say I decide I need a full loan of $1,000. Okay, so that's a proceed to an increase in long-term debt. That's $1,000. And then I just say net cash flows provided by financing activities. Then what I'm going to do is, I don't know if you guys can see, yeah, you can still see over there. Okay, just to make sure. So I'm going to take the 1400 over here. I'm going to subtract the 50 from here and add the 1000 from here, and that gives me my increase in cash. Now let's say at the start of the year, I had all of my net income in cash, it was $1,000, okay? And if I didn't remember where to get that, I'd look, say I've got year one and year X, I would look at the cash and equivalents on hand at the end of the previous year. So I know that was 1,000, I match that up there, I add my new increase in cash to what I had at the beginning of the year, and I get 3350. And that's a, that's a little bit more complicated balance sheet. These are still very simple balance sheets, but this is a, a little bit more detailed than the previous video. Great! Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you have questions, comment below. Make sure you give me a like, so that's like a thumbs up. And also subscribe. Awesome. So in the next video, we're going to do a little bit of a diagram to show you how all three of these uh, different um, financial statements kind of fit together. Awesome. I'll see you in the next video.